Good morning guys, Chaz here. I'm gonna be bringing you on a full haul, which means I'm gonna show you step by step what I'm doing on a typical uh, RA day is what I call today. So I'm, I have a couple retail stores I'm gonna to go to, a couple thrift shops that I'm gonna to go to, and I found a couple garage sales I'm gonna to go to. One in specific is a video game and media sale, so I'm super excited about that one. I wanna share a few tips with you. If you're going out for RA, make sure everything is fully charged. I charge my camera, I charge my phone, and I just got the Mophie case, which is a battery case, so I will not run into having to charge my phone issues in the middle of my RA hauls. We learned from last week's garage, so you guys saw that video. Bring boxes, because you might find small stuff, and inside of a car like this, you don't want stuff sliding around, and uh, that was just <laughs> no good situation for a few items. So, coming prepared, got my boxes. This, I forgot to show you guys in video is our uh, new vehicle, 2006 Chevy Equinox. Scored this thing for 2,800 bucks and uh, freaking loving it. It's an awesome tax write-off because we bought this just for doing these hauls and to have a little more space because my little sedan, my Mazda I was using was not cutting it. So enjoy the video. I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step. Step. I'm gonna scan items, throw up some screenshots for you guys and show you pretty much what my day looks like. Let's go. First stop, just dropped off three boxes of a shipment I prepped last night. And next stop is going to be, pick up this guy. I actually scored this for 60 bucks and I should see a net profit of between 150 and 180. First stop, just got the Breville juicer, perfect condition on the inside. Now to head on over to this Craigslist mega sale that I found. So I walk up here to this awesome deal, and uh, you guys will appreciate that. A wall of video games. So my good friend Gary here, who is a uh, eBay seller of how many years? 25 years. 25 years on eBay. So it turns out I automatically look at this stuff. I'm like, what? you got overstock? What's going on? I say he does pallets. You guys have followed me for a while, so you know I was in that pallet grind. So we connected right away, uh, worked out a deal for the video games, which I'm excited about. It's going to be a lot of work, but... You know how that goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, this is going to be my first stop, uh, my first haul. This is actually my third stop today. And uh, I'm going to put these in a box. This is why I told you guys earlier, come prepared with boxes, because I can't imagine hauling these things out, putting them in my car, and letting them thrash around on my drive home. So aside from that, we're on to stop number four. I have to say I'm pretty excited about that video game haul. I scored everything. 230 units at $1 a piece. Now I'm off to my lucky Goodwill. All right, just finished up at Goodwill number one, and I'm gonna show you guys what I got here. I got three items. It was not a great haul as far as volume, but I did get some items I'm gonna double my money on, which I'm excited about. So here we go. Got factory sealed on the D-Link, used, very good condition on whatever the heck this scanner thing is. And I got this thing called EyeSight. So I know a lot of you have asked if I'll show you kind of what goes through my head when I'm scanning stuff. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Get the barcode going. Scan the UPC. So first thing that pops up is 5600 rank, 64.99 for buy box. I paid 30 bucks for this one. 30 is definitely on the high end. I don't like to typically spend more than 20 bucks on anything, but at 64.99, 55, so you actually have to tap on this so you can see your after fees and shipping. So I'm gonna plug in $30 here, do this one handed. So I'll make $24 on the unit, so I almost doubled my money on this. I'm always checking for rank, because obviously we want fast sellers, right? I'm looking number two at the rating. If I have anything under, if it's one or two stars, I don't even bother with it just because you risk a customer return. And then I'll check competition. I'm not too worried about competition on most items. I jump on listings all the time with a lot of people on it if it's a fast rank and I sell out just fine. So that's number one, should almost double my money on. Get number two going here. Let's get the barcode. So this one was a little iffy because it does have the three star rating, but it's a risk I'm gonna take. 107 in camera. Uh, so this camera is actually a subcategory. It's not gonna be a super fast seller, 
but it cost me $25 and I should get close to doubling my money again on this one. Pull this in here, plug in my 25. This is just the regular Amazon sellers app, so I almost exactly double my money based on that price. And everything else checks out. Only one other dude in Merchant Field selling it, so I can probably even price this higher because I'm gonna be the only prime seller. And last one, which this one I'm actually excited about. Scan barcode. EyeSight. 307 in PC. This thing should go pretty quick. It's got four stars, 46 ratings. In a used condition, which this one obviously is not factory sealed. Factory sealed, the buy box is at 125. So this is actually going to be at the low end. I will see about $80 gross. We need to plug in our cost of $20. And that leaves us with a $60 profit. So I just turned $20, I'll get 80 back, which leaves me 60 net profit. Those are my three good finds of Goodwill. There's a lot of stuff in there I probably would have bought if it would have been six months ago when I was a fresh brand newbie. But you get pickier with your decisions, you get smarter as you go along. I'm focused, um, really on newer condition items now. I'm not buying as much used stuff as I used to and uh, making sure I prep everything, test everything the right way, all that good stuff. Just finished up at one of our favorite thrift stores, which we were just at like six days ago. It's a really small thrift store, so they don't restock too often. So we're gonna start cutting back to like once every couple weeks to go there. But I did go in there today and I found this. So, here's what I see. I'm gonna scan it. So typically for video games, I like to stay under a 5,000 rank for fast sellers. As you can see, this is 14,000, so it might sit for a little bit, but here's the thing. If this was factory sealed, they've got listings at over $100. The low FBA, is about 50 so even if I go by the low FBA price which is probably a crap condition I already checked the disc on this guy and that thing is pristine I paid three bucks for this so I will profit about forty dollars if I price via the low FBA price which I typically don't do that so I'm probably gonna get more than 40 bucks out of it it might sit for a little bit but high ROI this right here is why I love thrift stores you just have to make sure that you are listing under the correct Amazon condition guidelines you have to make sure you're being smart with your purchases um, your ranking plays a role in that stuff you have to decide in your business model if you're gonna do a fast selling item for a smaller profit margin and do a lot of them quickly we call it a fast um, fast nickel approach or versus the slow dime approach, which is going to be high ROI, but it might sit for a little bit. You have to decide which business model you wanna do. I'm definitely switching over to uh, mostly the fast rank, a little bit less profit, but higher volume per month type of scenario. But I would say for today so far, got myself a nice little load going. Let's go see what else we can find. It's about that time, my friends. Time for some Walmart action. All right guys, here's a prime example of why most people quit RA or FBA in general is because it's tough to find products sometimes. Look, I walk down this aisle and I'm all excited and pumped up. Look at all the stuff. All, pretty much every single item I'm scanning down here. Look at this, I'll do this one handed. So we've got Duck Dynasty Xbox One for 12 bucks. Buy box is at 9.98. Just Dance, nine bucks. Uh, Fifteen fifty-five. So even though there might be, let's just check this out again. There might be a little bit of wiggle room in here. Yeah, I'm gonna make a dollar if I send that in. So this is just an example, guys. Of you can't let the discouraging moments like this force you to quit. You just keep going. So even though this particular aisle, the clearance aisle is a no-go for today. I'm gonna to come back in a few days and keep an eye on some of these products because these prices will keep dropping. So that's a fail. 
Turns out the thrift store I've been wanting to try out is actually closed at four o'clock and it is now 5.30. So I am done for the day. I'm going to go home and check all this stuff in, give you guys the numbers. And now it's been a few days, I've had time to sit down and go through all of the video games, go through and test them, make sure they work, um, make sure that the discs are not scratched, all that good stuff. What I did was I stuck with only like new condition. If these things had any scratches on it, I basically put it in a separate pile because that's way more testing and work than I'm willing to put in right now. So I took the best of the best, took those out. I'll show you guys, guys the numbers. We more than broke even on the video games and I'm going to actually profit a good amount just based on the extras that I had. I have two options. I can offer up the entire load or which is an app kind of like Craigslist or I can take them into my local video game store, get in-store credit and uh, make some fun purchases for myself. So I won either way. So here's the numbers. We have a total buy cost of $143 based on the items that are going to FBA. We also have a total net profit of $954. Like I said, these are the numbers based on estimations, guys. These are the items that are going into FBA. So my buy cost was more than $143 based on this entire day and all the stuff that I bought. But again, these are the items going into FBA. I have an entire stack I can show you right here. And there's also that big box is a bunch of leftover video games as well. Those are going to my local store or I'm just going to throw them all up on OfferUp. Um, you know, I'll count how many there are. I paid a dollar a piece, so there might be 60 or 70. So I might just throw them up for 100 bucks and call it good and make a little bit of money on those. Um, I'll decide what I want to do in a couple days. Now, I want to say one thing. Anytime you ever hear me say, here's what my profit is, like I just showed you, 143 buy costs, 954 profit, that is an estimated value. What I actually get back might be right on target. If I don't have to drop any prices and everything does sell, I will get about $954 profit. But realistically, I'm gonna to have to drop prices on some stuff that sits longer than I want it to. But that's just a rough estimate. The point is to show you guys, I spent about 143 bucks and I'll make 954 based on these stats. Even if I only make six or 700 out of that, turning 100 bucks into 600, that is a pretty sweet business in my mind. So that's been my take for you today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me on a typical sourcing day. Stay tuned for next time, and I'll see you guys later.